Greetings. Today is Thursday, December the 16th, 2021. It is 4.15 a.m. in the morning and I am recording this report from Berlin, Germany, where I heard today a news report of what is going on in Germany for all my friends abroad and outside of Germany to understand how the situation in my country now has become. I shall not name the person who reported this in order to protect her identity. I have two sources. The former leader of the internal security service who was fired for criticizing the politics of our government and a well-respected journalist, both whose words of the story I trust that it happened as such. The following report is deeply disturbing, so have this trigger warning ahead. But not knowing and God only knowing what in the coming year that soon begins in my country, Germany will begin and I am not certain of my own security either, I shall report you this experience from this person so that you know what is going on here. Quote of the story. The feeling of total powerlessness is terrible and I had thought I had already experienced it. I thought wrong. An express train takes me back from Munich to Berlin. It stops in Nuremberg and Erlangen. Shortly after Nuremberg, there is a commotion in the train. A man in a suit rushes to the back, pursued by the conductor and some passengers. The station Erlangen is reached and the railroad police rush in. The man recognizes the inevitability of the situation and places himself at the nearest toilet doors, hands up. Nevertheless, he is pulled to the floor. Plastic handcuffs are put on him and he is thrown off the train with a lot of shouting. Then another group photo of the officers with their target. By now it is clear what has happened here. The man had boarded the train quickly, did not have a ticket, wanted to buy it from the train attendant and could not produce proof of vaccination. He probably hoped to be able to escape from the platform in Erlangen. This was prevented by staff and even self-appointed sheriffs. The brutal procedure, the case chased through the train, the mutual pats on the backs of the participants, all this would have been somehow bearable if there had not been 80 to 90 passengers in my car who all praised the behavior of the participants, applauded and got excited about the danger of public health posed by this one man who of course wore a mask this was in complete contrast to the admirers of the law and order force. Most of them did not put the mask back on fully until the conductor appeared. Proposals for the exceptional situation in this state. As far as Bamberg, they were still teasing each other about what should happen to unvaccinated pests. Locking them away, labor camps, even castration was suggested. I went through the wagon to see who was making such loud suggestions about the exceptional state. It was a colorful mix of society. The green hipsters who could be recognized by their Greta stickers on their laptops, the self-satisfied retirees, the shift workers and their after-work beers with their after-work beers, 
the equal moms with the whining toddlers, the couple on the way to the coast, and the middle of it all, me. I was incapable of saying anything. I was too cowardly, and the shame of this cowardice made me freeze. I do not recall what happened between Bamberg and Berlin Südkreuz. I fell into a kind of trance. I could still feel tears running down my, down my face, but I was incapable of uttering a word, of making any movement. I just sat there, a shell of myself. Just before Berlin Südkreuz, I awoke from the blackout and went to the door. I never thought of myself as a coward, had never avoided political discussion, but what I had experienced on this train ride I only knew from history books. It was not a simple joining in. It was the desire to be at the forefront, to be involved in the spiral of destruction that my fellows passengers were proudly reporting. And I was too cowardly to do anything about it. Perhaps because I was locked up with them. On a demonstration in the open I would hopefully not have frozen. Because there, if anything had gone wrong, I could, still could have run away. But in this rolling block warden paradise, Blockwart paradise, there was no escape. Thus ends this report of an eyewitness of what happened in Germany just most recently.